Good evening. I think I'm ready. I've been into music all my life. As a child, I explored all kinds of different instruments. But eventually, playing the piano became my main focus, and I ended up studying classical piano at a music conservatory in Germany. Just sticking with uh, classical music didn't fulfill me, though. And over the years, I increasingly showed interest in other music styles. I started playing in bands, and eventually, I started writing my own original songs. By the way, that's Beethoven. Some great local musicians were interested in playing with me. What a great honor. And I founded my own band. And over the years, I wrote more and more songs. And um, some turned out really well and some haven't, so I ditched those. But yeah, what does it take to write a song? Um, well, first of all, a good start is if you actually know the language you're writing in. So that's my biggest struggle. Um, I have to deal with a vocabulary of about 500 words. Um, another thing is, well, maybe playing an instrument is helpful. And um, here we are, we have some terms, most of you are probably familiar with those. Um, I like to start writing with the chorus first. It, um, it's not a rule really, but it just works out better. And then I move on and think about the verses, what actually my story really could be. Um, so I'm hesitant towards making stuff up for my songs. I, my lyrics are rarely fictional. And now I would like to share with you how I came up uh, with one of my songs. It was uh, in 2005 when I was playing piano on a cruise ship, traveling to Antarctica. So maybe this experience itself could have turned into a song since I was stuck on the boat with 200 elderly cruisers. <laughs> but instead I ended up writing a song about these guys. Yes, penguins. I didn't take this picture though, I, I got it off the internet. So, But however, uh, this is what I envisioned when I was thinking of penguins before I actually was traveling to Antarctica. And what I saw was more looking like this. Yes, I know, it's, it's shocking and they are covered in their excrements, and yes. So I haven't taken this picture either, but um, it shows it shows the the next picture I've taken, and that shows the full extent of the hygienic conditions. So this is actually a penguin colony. Uh, please excuse the poor quality poor quality of the picture. Um, lucky you that you you can't you can only see what I had to smell. I all the pink stuff is actually penguin poop. Um, so the next picture I have actually taken, and that's uh, off, I've taken that off a raft pretty close to shore. And uh, it, you see the clean penguins at the bottom, they just got out of the water. And now they're clean, and now what's happening, they're heading back up to their buddies. And see up on the rock, so they are all covered in crap. And then the penguin gets poopy again and goes back to the water, clean. So there's a cycle going on. I made this graph. Um, There's a problem with it. Um, the graph should actually flatten out on top because at some point the penguin is full of crap and the feathers are fully saturated, but the science is very young. So here's some, yeah, here's some terms, different terms. For instance, for my song, I used uh, droppings because it kind of rhymes with penguins, droppings, penguins. For, um, but it was uh, till 2005, till I was actually um, writing my Penguin song. Uh, it was upon return from a trip to Germany. I'm originally from Germany. So going back home, hanging with the fam, most of us would agree there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> and we, we're probably not literally fighting, but um, we get upset at each other and frustrated. And all these problems we know to a certain degree. Um, 
Yeah, these two guys, yeah. So don't we wish that we could be, we could be happy all the time with each other and, and understand each other and everybody in a great mood all the time? So, but I was wondering, is, is that really realistic? And could, that, could life be really like that? So I think um, many images that are presented to us are presented to us in their perfection, or at least what the majority of us would, would consider as ideal, like, like this Christmas tree or the, the two penguins. Um, I'm referring to the clean ones from earlier. So, um, As a musician, I, I am driven by perfectionism. And often it can be actually a, a curse because uh, we, we can miss out on the beauty of things just because of a little messiness. And um, that's how it is became the title for my Penguin song. Um, I came up with it pretty quick so because it, it simply points out what I've realized that penguins are quite full of shit at times. <laughs> and aren't we all, more or less? <laughs> I write songs and I like doing it. And it can be frustrating at times, but often it is very rewarding. And now, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to play the song for you. And that's how it is. Thank you very much. We didn't practice this, but I'm afraid I'm a little further. Good. Hold on. of the world way down south lives a bird I thought I knew how it looked from visits to the zoo and pictures and books but then I got to see them in the wild with a bunch of cruisers me and some tour guides and what I witnessed with my own eyes you people need to know natural habitat penguins are covered in shit and their feather dress is a total mess and the whole place smells like rotting fish and that's how it is Fellows at the zoo look so neat and clean, so different from what I have seen. Colonies of thousands of penguins waddling through fish guts and their droppings. And the worst is the poop is pink. And by now, you people must think whoever sings a song about penguins covered. And 
that's how it is.